Is it time to buy or sell Exxon stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Exxon. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, April 27, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since April 27, 2023, our system has ranked Exxon as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.43. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. We'll continue monitoring this evaluation to see how it unfolds in the coming days. The stock is at the upper part of a wide and horizontal trend and normally this may pose a good selling opportunity but a breakup through the top trend line at $118.26 will give a strong buy signal and a trend shift could be expected. The current 3-month trend suggests a potential 1.13% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 13.05% and 2.37%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 31.03% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 13.76% and 40.57%. This translates to a price range of $132.90 to $164.23 after a year. Our latest daily update for Exxon includes the headline, Exxon Stock Upgraded to Buy Candidate. The Exxon stock price gained 1.2% on the last trading day, Thursday, April 27, 2023, rising from $115.45 to $116.83. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 1.85% from a day low at $114.88 to a day high of $117.01. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a 0.92% gain for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 837,000 more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 16 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $1.88 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $126.54, and the lowest price was $80.69. Currently, the price is 7.67%, or $9.71, below the 52-week high of $126.54, which is also the all-time high for stock. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, February 2, 2023, Cowan and Company set a price target of 113. On Thursday, February 2, 2023, Cowan and Company set a price target of 113. On Wednesday, February 1, 2023, Wells Fargo set a price target of 125. On Wednesday, February 1, 2023, Truist Financial set a price target of 110. On Wednesday, February 1, 2023, Wells Fargo set a price target of 125. Analysts have given Exxon stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Exxon. The Exxon stock holds buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $116.46 and $110.91. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, April 24, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 1.16%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. 
Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 4 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 16 days ago. Short term moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. Long term moving average, buy signal 21 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 18 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. The long term moving average, buy signal 19 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 15 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Exxon Exxon finds support from accumulated volume at $116.01 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock is usually traded at a good volume, and with minor daily changes, the risk is considered to be low. During the last day, the stock moved $2.13, 1.85%, between high and low. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.95%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Exxon, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the Price to Earnings Ratio, or P.E. Ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A relatively low P.E. ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q1 2023 is expected on April 28, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $2.65. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Exxon. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Exxon is at $116.94. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Exxon encounters its first support level at $116.01. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Exxon from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On February 1, 2023, Tally Darren L. conducted an insider sell of 2,500 shares of common stock. On January 3, 2023, Kellner Lawrence W. conducted an insider buy of 8,000 shares of common stock. On January 3, 2023, Harris John D. conducted an insider buy of 8,000 shares of common stock. On January 1, 2023, Kellner Lawrence W. conducted an insider sell of zero shares of common stock. On January 1, 2023, Harris John D. conducted an insider sell of zero shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 8.532. Overall, insiders purchased 1,139,384 shares and sold 1,751,022 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $111.84, minus 4.27%. This stock has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 3 days ago. Is Exxon stock a good buy? Several short-term signals are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity, as there is a fair chance for Exxon stock to perform well in the short-term period. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a sell to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. 
For trading on Friday, April 28th, we expect Exxon to open down $0.589 and start trading at $116.24. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.